Remember athletes, it's about consistency first, then intensity. Transformation is about changing who we are through our habits. Your path to success, it's a journey. You are unstoppable. You are an athlete. Every day that we wake up able to enjoy the day with the health that we have is a gift. You know the goal is to become 1% better every single day. Your workout is done and your results are there. Unleash that unstoppable force within you. What's up athletes, welcome back. Today we're doing a 10 minute full body boot camp and all you're going to need to follow along today is just your mat, a medium weight pair of dumbbells or a couple of cans from the pantry. You're also going to need a little ab mat or a small cushion that you're going to place under the low back for some support. Then you're also going to need an elevated surface. So today I have a plyometric box, but if you have a sturdy chair or you're going to use your couch or maybe you're close by to a set of stairs, that works just fine. Now we're going to work today for 45 seconds. We're going to rest for 15 seconds through 10 different exercises. This is a no repeat workout. And I'm going to tell you, this one is going to be a doozy. So it's so important that you listen to your body today and you modify as needed. So we're going to do some movements where we are going to be in a high plank position. And then I'm going to invite you to use this box or your elevated surface to modify instead of coming down onto your knees. All right, athletes, now let's get started. I show you your first exercise, and then to follow along, you're gonna check this box that comes up here, and you're going to know what movement is coming up next. Our first movement today is a woman maker. So you're gonna go ahead and grab your dumbbells. I'm just gonna clear out some space here, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the mat, which is as prescribed, and then I'm gonna show you your modification. Now I'm gonna clue you in on a little secret. If you really wanna progress, if you really want to see results, then give yourself that opportunity to ramp up. If you're going to do this exercise on the floor with me, but you notice that you can't maybe come all the way down in the movement, or you're maybe missing a little bit of range of motion, your progress will be slower. However, if you start today on the box, you give your body that opportunity to build up, you're going to find yourself on the floor in no time doing the full movement as prescribed. All right, now let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my hands here on my dumbbells. I'm gonna get into a high plank position. I'm gonna come down into a push up. I'm gonna come up and then I'm going to pull. And then again, push up, up. And then I'm gonna pull with the other side. Now I can step or jump my feet up here, keeping the back straight. I'm gonna bring the weights up to the shoulders and then press all the way up. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat a couple more times, giving you the option. So jump. So remember it's a push up, pull, push up, pull, jump or step your feet to the weights, keeping the back flat. And then you bring the weights up and then all the way up. So I'm gonna do one more all the way down, pull, down, pull, and then watch as I bring now the weights all the way up, which is also another option for you if you feel that you have it in you today. Now, if you're having a hard time with the push-ups, I'm going to invite you to come on over here on your elevated surface, just follow along, push up, pull, push up, pull, step or jump, keep that back flat, bring the weights all the way up. All right, athletes. Now, are you ready to begin? Let's do this. Remember, working for 45 seconds, I showed you four reps. I'm already out of breath. So make sure that you find your pace today. This is a big monster exercise that really takes a lot of muscle groups to get it accomplished. All right, in three, two, one, let's go. So remember, just find your breath here. As I was saying earlier, Instead of going too fast, too soon, and then having to stop at some point and take a break before those 45 seconds are up, just find maybe a sustainable pace. And then as you repeat this workout, you'll know whether or not your weights were too heavy or too light, and whether or not you can even move a little bit faster. All right. so. As you notice, we don't do too many reps in these 45 seconds of woman makers because they take quite some time just to complete that one rep. All right, and break. Now, next up we have an overhead sit-up. So you're only gonna need one of your dumbbells. 
Go ahead and grab your cushion or your ab mat. You're gonna place it behind your back. And then you're gonna grab each side of the dumbbell and extend all the way, lock out the arms, come all the way up, and then try to keep those elbows locked out. And then try to pass the head through the arms, but don't force the shoulders all the way up. Your legs are in butterfly position. Inhale, exhale all the way up. Weight stays up towards the ceiling the whole time. And try not to lower them. And then try also not to use the weights like this to prop yourself up, all right? So lock out the elbows, come all the way up, drive the ears through the arms so that you become completely in line with the arms. All right, and break. Now, next up we have a alternating step up. So I'm gonna actually use this with both of my weights. I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer here. Grab both of my dumbbells, shoulder blades back and down. I'm gonna come up, full extension the top, and then alternate the other side. So really important that you have full extension. If this is challenging for you, Drop your weights, follow along, and then just allow yourself, again, that opportunity to build up by being kind and gentle to the body. That's it. All the way up. Good work. Feels like we get a 15 second rest, but honestly, it's enough time just to move to the next exercise. Continue to breathe here. Good job. Watch those shoulder blades, draw them back and down. Don't let the shoulders roll forward. All right, and break. Now, keep one weight. Let's get this guy out of the way here. And then we're gonna do a down dog reach under. So come into that down dog position. You're gonna grab your weight and then you're gonna slide it against the mat. Come into the plank position, slide it against the mat to create friction, squeeze into the plank and then push. So the more that we really focus on connecting with the core, we're gonna start to really feel that flexion right now as we push up into down dog, but initiating really from the core as opposed to just pushing with the arms. Exhale, reach under, inhale, come back into your plank. Good work. That's it. Maybe one more. And break. All right, good work. Now, we're gonna do some buckle unders. So option to use your weight here. If you need a couple more inches off the floor, you're gonna come all the way down, heels lift up, and then extend the legs all the way up. So come all the way down here, extend keeping the elbows locked out. And then now try and move a little bit faster. And I love this movement because at first it feels so silly, feels like not much is happening. Then you start to feel the burn. So if you feel the burn, comment below, let me know where you're feeling it. Hint, it's right above the knees. And this movement is really great for the quads, especially the vastus medialis oblique muscle, where you're gonna feel that connection with the patella, which is the kneecap, and provides a lot of stability for the knees without a lot of load and resistance. All right, and break. Now, next up we're doing a boat pose press. So here you're gonna use both of your dumbbells. You're gonna keep that back flat, you're gonna lean back, bring the weights on the shoulder, lift up the legs, and now engage to the core. So if you're feeling like your low back is not liking this right now, Drop the heels, continue with me, just feel those abs engaging. And then you're gonna notice as you drive the weights up overhead, you're gonna be forced to have to constantly regain that balance. And now make the core do the work. So really focus here on just connecting the core, engaging by just simply drawing the pubic bone to the belly button. I know it feels kind of weird. How would you do that in this movement? But just imagine with your mind that you're bringing the pubic bone up to the belly button. Three, two, one, and break. All right, I'm gonna drop that now and get into 
a mountain climber. So option again in that plank position, come on over here, follow along with me or come onto the floor. And really important that you're just going to run in place in this position. So a common fault I see is this. So watch your hips. If you're looking down here and you feel your hips are up high to the sky, draw them down. You wanna try and keep your hips in line with the shoulders and the ankles so that you're in a straight plank position. And then run in place, avoid running like this in place. That's a different movement. Continue to breathe, feeling your arms here, feeling the abs, I'm feeling the top of my legs. I love this one. You really get everything here. Good job. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Oh man, that one's a doozy. So back into that seated position, grab one dumbbell. And now option to either, again, lift up the heels or keep them on the floor. And then you're gonna keep your eyes on your weight. So again, lean back. Remember to listen to the body. If your back doesn't like this, don't force it. We don't get anything out of forcing a movement. So I've learned, unfortunately, the hard way that when something doesn't feel right and I push through it and trying to get just a few more reps in, I always end up suffering for weeks. So it's not worth one workout to sacrifice your entire body. Now, that said, there's a difference between fake pain and real pain. Fake pain goes away when the activity stops. Real pain stays all the time. Three, two, one, and break. All right, good stuff. And now let's get into a side plank position. I'm gonna show you the modification first. You have the option to come onto your knees, onto your straight out arm, or stay on that elbow or the forearm, and then stay in that side plank position. But whatever you do on one side, just make sure that you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We are of course leaving the best for last. How are you liking this so far? Is it crazy how in these 10 minutes, it more, it's more than enough. It feels like you've been working out for an hour and it really is all you need to get lean, most importantly, to get st strong, to be healthy, and to feel that vitality just pouring through the body, getting a lot of energy and strength and stability. Three, two, one, break in just 10 minutes. Oh man, all right, let's go. We're switching to the other side. Remember, if you were on an outstretched arm on this side, do the same thing on the other side. We always wanna keep a balance and strength to avoid injury and up. All right. And so normal that as you do these unilateral movements, that you always have one side that's stronger than the other side, completely normal, especially if you've had injury on a side or just maybe been playing a sport where you're always favoring one side more than the other. All right, that's it. Connect with the body, come on. Stay here with me, don't break. We're almost done. We're gonna sprint through that finish line together. Let's go, 10 more seconds. Good job. Whoop, almost lost my balance there, looking down. Three, two, one, and break. Oh, man, so, so good. I hope you enjoyed that today, athletes. Let me know how this went for you. Let me know if this resonated with you by commenting below. Give me a thumbs up if you've liked it and remember to subscribe if you're new here so that we keep training together. All right, let's go refuel, rehydrate, and let's meet up in the next one. You got this.